I'm Alex Utano for Ohio Sports Zone here at the Convocation Center, where stand up and cheer has been preached to all the fans here at, for the Ohio Bobcats. Now with tournament time just days away, I was able to talk to the only senior on the basketball team, Treg Setti. Tell us, what was the difference between this year's squad and last year's? Um, I think a lot, lot deeper. There's a lot. Um, we had a year to get acclimated to coach's system and learn what he expects from his players and a bunch of new guys that have come in that were all handpicked by Coach Phillips to be a part of his system. And uh, a lot of there's, there's just a lot of positivity around this program right now. And I think it's definitely translated into wins on the court. And so it's a fun time to be here for sure. And you started your uh, Bobcat career with Jim Christian. Now you have Coach Saul Phillips. What are the differences between the two coaches in terms of coaching style, if any? Um, Coach Coach Christian is really kind of fire and brimstone, and uh, was really aggressive and uh, very um, intense. And he was more of a hands-on kind of uh, wanted his players to play uh, a certain a certain way. And Coach Phillips is more uh, relaxed and calm and. Um, doesn't doesn't push his players to to be anything more than what they are, or less than what they are. He kind of lets his players get comfortable with who they are and who they are as a player, and he lets you work to become as good as you can be. And uh, Coach Phillips doesn't put a ceiling on his players. You know, he kind of lets the guys work work as hard as they can to become as good as they can be, and he really encourages you. And um, he's a real he's a real pleasure to play for. Now, as tournament time approaches here for the MAC, uh, does your practices change at all? A uh, little less, a uh, little less physicality in practice. You don't want to, you don't want to wear guys down as you head into MAC play or MAC tournament play. You want to make sure the guys' legs are fresh, but all the while you want to make sure that you're still um, working on your on your uh, shooting and your ball handling and trying to um, kind of hone in on on some some skill work. And so, I think it's uh, it's important to make sure that you continue to push yourself, but not too much to where you're too tired when you actually step out on the court to play. Now, this year's team doesn't have four of the top five scorers from last year's squad. However, there have been a lot of players who have stepped it up. Tell us, in your eyes, who has been the biggest difference maker? Who has stepped up the most to fill in the shoes of, say, Maurice Endor? Uh, I mean, you got to look at Tone and, and uh, of course, Duran and Kenny and uh, myself and Gavin and Jordy and uh, really just one through 15 we got a bunch of guys that fill different roles you know from the guys that are on the bench that you know cheer louder than anybody in the MAC to the guys that start and you know score more than anybody you know I think it's important to have 15 guys that all know the role and that fit in well with one another and that's something that we got and it's not something that I've had in um, a lot of in, in my career and so I'm really thankful to be a part of a group like this. And last but not least, there have been a lot of players, obviously, that have been making a difference. But in the locker room, who would you say is a real vocal uh, presence in the locker room? Who's a real leader? Um, I mean, I, I, I'd say I, I'd like to say myself. And you got uh, Tony and Kenny and Jerron. Us four have really stepped up and kind of been the uh, the leading the leaders in the in the locker room. And uh, we have the most experience among the four of us. And so we've definitely taken that role. Uh, just kind of being the leaders and everyone kind of looks up to us and and we kind of set the tone you know even in the games as well and so but I mean we got a team full of leaders I think that's one thing that's really special about this group is we got a team full of guys that really wants to make an impression and really wants to work hard and make sure that they're uh, they're picking up their weight and so I think when you have a whole team full of guys that work hard and that lead you know then then you got something special and that's what we have. The Bobcats' first tournament game is this upcoming Thursday, and they will face the winner of Northern Illinois and Western Michigan. For Ohio Sports Zone, I'm Alex Utano.